The Christian Association of Nigeria can, on Monday, urge the All Progressive Congress and its presidential candidate, Asewaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu, to learn from Chief MK Abiola's political achievements and mistakes. In a statement signed by the Vice Chairman North East Zona Chapter of Khan, Reverend Dr. Innocent Ruby Kura Solomon, the apex Christian body, noted that Abiola was a successful grassroots politician who won in 1993 the presidential election at George to be the most credible in Nigeria's history. According to him, one of the greatest mistakes that unfortunately befell him while alive and active in pursuit of his presidential ambition was his decision to fly a Muslim Muslim ticket in the election. Solomon said, Have we asked why the election are judged to be the most credible in the democratic history of Nigeria, and yet its government was not to be? Have we ever cared to know the misery behind the annulment? Could it just be that the former military leader, General Ibrahim Babagida, just on his own decide to do the impossible? Was it not something beyond his control? A mystery no mortal can explain. Nigeria, as a result of that annulment, passed through one of its most critical and difficult period in history, which eventually led to the death of one of Nigeria's illustrious leader, a remarkable personality who died in custody in an attempt to recover the mandate. Our political leaders must learn from our mistake of the past or will further the nation away from peace, stability and progress. God forbid. Khan also cautioned the APC against finalizing the tentative Muslim-Muslim combination of Tinubu as its presidential candidate and Ibrahim Masari as the running mate saying that no party can win the presidential poll without the Christians in the north. Any party for that matter must avoid the pitfall of setting Nigeria's religious communities into political blocks that may result to the greatest religious disharmony in the country. Any such decision is precarious. No political party should try it. I passionately appeal. Religion is to guide the people and the nation and not to set the people against each other. Political decisions must be fair and just. Democracy must be inclusive. Christians, Muslims and people of all faiths must be duly recognized and carried along. Christian Christian ticket or Muslim Muslim ticket is not in the interest of a united, peaceful and prosperous Nigeria. The statement read. 2023, learn from Abiola's mistake. Khan advises APC and Tinubu. Well, um, it was INEC. INEC gave the deadline for the presidential candidates of all the parties to present their running mate. A deadline was given. We know Atik already chose his um, running mate as uh, um, the governor of uh, Delta State, Ifan Yokoa. So Ifan Yokoa is not a Muslim, obviously. So that is not um, a Muslim Muslim ticket. For Bola Tinubu, Bola Tinubu is yet to come up with a name. He came up with Masari. However, reports have it that um, Tinubu only presented that name just for INEC to fill in that there's a window of 30 days to actually replace that and make up their mind. Make up their mind. It's possible they are thinking about the Muslim Muslim ticket because that name they've presented, Masari, is a Muslim as well. Tinubu is a Muslim. Everyone knows that. Um, they are warning him, they are warning Tinubu that learn from Abiola's mistake that what made Abiola never got the mandate that he sought for, that he was pursuing, was because of his choice of the Muslim Muslim ticket. Khan is advising APC, the party on which um, Tinubu is the flag bearer. And also Tinubu, because, you know, for the party, the party had spoken through the national chairman that it's not, their, it's not in their power to choose, that they can guide. If Tinubu wants them to make a choice for him, they can. But it's not um, obligatory of the party to choose a running mate for Tinubu. Tinubu has that choice, the sole responsibility. You know, that was what PDP did as well. A lot of names were coming, were, were, were popping up. Wicked's name was even part of them. Names were coming up, but at the end of the day, um, Atiku chose who he can work with because his teamwork, running mates, when the president is not there, 
the vice president stands for him. And you can imagine a president and a vice president that are not on the same page. The country will be going to two different directions. Anyways, that's for Atiku. Atiku decided who will work with him because he believes that um, um, himself and Wiki can't work together. For Bola Tinubu, I'm sure the, that Masari he put out there, maybe still thinking about the Muslim Muslim, Muslim Muslim ticket. Khan is telling him the Christian Association of Nigeria learn from Abiola's mistake. I'm not, it's not like they're telling um, Bola Tinubu that you are going to die the way Abiola died. No one is wishing Bola Tinubu that. But it's possible they're telling him that this mandate at the end of the day, if you miss it, if you go this Muslim Muslim way, you might lose all of it. He won with a landslide. The sort of vote he got from the delegates, <laughs> landslide, he cleared those guys far, 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 far. He was really far away from them. And they're telling him that if you go that way, that way you are going. Now, let it be that um, that name, let it be as um, it's been reported or it's been speculated that you are going to replace that name. But eventually, if you don't, just know what awaits you, that this is what is going to await you, that what is going to await you is Abiola's treatment. The same mistake uh, Abiola made and the same sort of result he got. While he was trying to make things right, that was how he died in custody. God rest his soul. That was how he died. And up till now, he's still being respected. You know, he's still being celebrated. We celebrate June 12th every year. June 12th is, a, is a, even a public holiday set aside for him because of uh, um, um, all of his achievements and the plans he had for the country. But um, they never came to pass because of the decision he took. Will Bola Tinubu listen to this or he has his own mind? I don't know what he will eventually come up with. 30 days is not a long time from now because INEC is watching. The time is ticking. Once that 30 days window um, elapses, that means um, Tinubu is stuck with that name that he's put on there. will not be able to take that name out. He's put a name there. It might be a game plan. I don't know if he, he really has intentions to change that name. Or that's his final decision. A lot of names were coming up as his running mate. At one point in time, Erufai's name came up. Names were coming up, but he decided to go for Masari. Although Masari is not a stranger to him. Masari is someone who has worked closely with Tinubu. They enjoy a very good relationship. So the only um, thing there standing against this is just the Muslim Muslim. The country, for the country to remain united, the agitations are still on. We don't want to foil more agitations. Peace is what we seek for this country. We're going to listen to this advice. We'll see how it plays out. Leave us your take, guys. Thank you once again for staying tuned. And please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Till I come your way again with more updates. Bye.